Hey guys, I'm showing you today how you can make this faux taxidermy to kind of go with your Halloween decor. I really like a gothic vintage vibe when it comes to Halloween decor and so if that's you as well this will fit in perfectly or even if you have kind of like a witch theme going on with your Halloween decor. So there are a couple of things that you'll need. Um, for me, I've got almost all of my pieces from Dollar Tree, the bat, um, there are a few bird skeleton pieces, and also all the bugs that you see are from Dollar Tree. And then the wood pieces that they're mounted on are from Hobby Lobby. Um, you can get all different sizes and shapes, and they're fairly inexpensive, and then if you use a coupon on top of that, you know, it's really, it's a really, really budget-friendly project. So I started out by spray painting a couple of pieces, a few of the bugs and a few of the wood pieces. Um, I wanted to make sure that on the, bu the bugs I got a really good coat, but on the wood pieces I'm not too worried if it was perfect or not because you'll see later on in the video that we're actually going to alter these even further and I'm going to be sanding them down a bit so I actually want some of that wood green to show through. For the others I'm going to be painting some layers on the edges. I'm not going to be painting the actual piece that will be facing. Um, will be facing you whenever it's hung up or what the bugs are attached to because I'm actually going to go over that with some book paper. So I'm going to use a combination of colors here. I'm going to start with a gray and again I'm not going to cover it entirely. I'm just going to slap it on there and then I'm going to go over it with a brown. I'm going to let those dry ever so slightly and then I'm going to go over them with some black paint. And the black paint that I'm using has a consistency that's a bit more watery, and so it's going to kind of loosen up some of the other paint that's on there. And then I'm going to go around and blot this with a paper towel. So it's gonna pull some of the paint up from underneath. So what you'll start to see is the different layers and colors underneath. And this really gives it a worn, vintage, spooky vibe. Now once these are mostly dry, I'm going to use my Martha Stewart um, decoupage glue and I'm going to cover the front with um, a thesaurus page. I have this thesaurus that's falling apart and so I like to use it for a lot of my projects and it already has a worn, damaged look so it's perfect for this project. You don't need to worry too much if your paper hangs over the edges or if it doesn't entirely cover the front. Um, 
both of those issues will be taken care of. Uh, after this dries completely, we're gonna go around the edges with some sandpaper, and so that'll actually make the edges um, separate, and you'll see here in a minute, and it'll come off really cleanly and straight with all your edges. And then on the round piece, you'll notice that the paper didn't cover the entire thing. There's a little spot where some is missing. But you really don't want to worry about that because it actually adds to the effect, um, you know, that it's old and worn. And then after I kind of remove the edges from all of these, I am going to go over it one more time with some of my decoupage glue, especially around the edges where the paper meets the wood because I just want to seal it in and seal those edges really well. Now we're gonna add even more paint. I'm going to water down my black paint even further and I'm gonna go around the edges and kind of rub it in with my fingers and a paintbrush. And then again, I'm gonna go around and blot it with that paper towel to kind of pull some of it up. And then after this layer dries, I'm gonna go in with my sandpaper and go around all the edges. I'm gonna go around um, the corners and make sure that some of that wood grain shows through. And then on the ones that I painted solid black at the beginning, I am gonna add a little bit more paint to them. Um, I am gonna add some black paint, but I'm also going to add some of that gray and the brown as well. And then I'm going to sand that one, not only around the edges, but on the surface as well. Alright, so my bases are complete and now I'm going to start adding my skeletons. So I'm going to add the bat to this one. And then on the next one I'm actually going to take a Dollar Tree bird skeleton and kind of um, take him apart. So I pull his head off and then I pull the jaw off of the, the head and then his wings as well. Um, his rib cage also came off and I kind of played around with that at one point to see if that's something that I would have wanted to make another one of these with, but I just saved it for another project later on. I didn't end up using it. After I attach all my bugs, I'm going to kind of go over them with like a light touch of some gold paint. Um, you could do this by dry brushing it on, but I find it easier just to use my finger and basically it just highlights all those little bumps on the bug and kind of makes it stand out. Um, on this last one, the grasshopper, I had actually glued him, I spray painted him and then glued him upside down and I didn't realize. So you can actually see like the wording printed um, on his tummy, like where he was manufactured and stuff. But um, unless you're looking really, really close, you can't see it. And then I'm just gonna add some gold highlights to the background of this bat. All right, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, you can see me here kind of arranging all of my stuff on the wall. You may have seen this in the Decorate With Me video. And you'll also see some of the other projects that uh, I have videos on 
this month. Uh, my Dollar Tree DIY decoupage frames. Um, you can also see my Illustrated Dictionary page, my jack-o'-lantern, up in the top right corner there. If you haven't, got, haven't gone and checked those out, I hope that you will. Um, I'm just going to finish up here with some close-ups again at the end so you can get a good look at the finished product. And I hope you guys will come and check out the rest of my series. And if you haven't, I hope you'll go back and, and check out some of the videos that came before this one. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you're having a happy Halloween.